Thank you for joining us to learn even more about the QuiltWorks Configurator in QuiltWorks Web. The Configurator is a powerful tool for assembling grouped and simple bundles on the fly by walking through a series of prompts that help the sales rep decide which parts to include. If you've not already reviewed the basic and intermediate Configurator videos, we encourage you to do so. In this advanced tutorial, we'll take a look at even more advanced flowchart features that empower us to create more complex and sophisticated configurations. These options will allow us to have more flexibility in how selection containers are organized and navigated by the user. We'll start by cloning the configuration that we worked on in the Intermediate Configurator video. We do that by going to the Configurator, selecting our Intermediate Demo Configuration, and hitting the Clone button. We're going to go ahead and name this Advanced Demo Configuration, and hit OK. Now, in the past, we've used a default branch to link selection containers. Now we're going to start using a more advanced branching method in the navigation-only branch. The navigation-only branch gives the user a set of options to choose from without necessarily requiring that they select an item. So if we wanted to include a lot more televisions in our configuration, we might want to categorize them so the list doesn't become too long and overwhelming. So let's create two different containers for specific groups of TVs. We'll create one for HD TVs. And we'll create a second one for plasmas. And now we'll fill up our containers with all of the HDTVs and plasma TVs. We'll start by double clicking on the HDTVs container and providing a config prompt. Again, this is what the user will be prompted with when they get to this particular step in the configuration. Then we'll go to the items tab and we'll add some HDTVs. And we'll go back and add our subtotal line item that we used in the intermediate configurator video as well. And this will be set as a subtotal line type. Next, we'll go over to our Plasmas container, double-click, and provide our config prompt. And then to the Items tab to add our items. And again, we'll add our subtotal line item. Next, we'll create the navigation branches to see how that works. We'll just need to select the TVs container and drag it over to the HDTVs container. We've used the default branch previously, but here you'll see other options listed. You have the navigation only branch and a number of part numbers that are listed there below as well. Those are used for part number based branching and we'll take a closer look at those momentarily. For now, we're going to use the navigation only branch. This will create a new option for the salespeople on the step one list, so instead of choosing one of our original TV options, they can choose to navigate to more HDTVs and choose from there. Then we'll do the same thing for plasmas. Next, we'll take a look at the third and final branch. The part number brace branch is similar to the navigation only branch, but requires the selection of an actual item and then routes the user based on which item they selected. So it's a good way to guide a user to select accessories that are specific to a part that has already been included in a bundle. So let's try that technique and create a container to include accessories for our two largest plasma TVs. We'll do that by creating a new container, and we'll name this one Accessories. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and drag our cursor from the Plasmas TVs container to the Accessories container. And we have, again, our part number based branching listing at the end of this list here. Now, I want to make it so that individuals that select the Plasma TVs branch, if they select either of the two largest TVs, they'll be brought to the Accessories container. So we'll go ahead and make it so that the 50-inch TV has a part number branch going to the accessories container, and then we'll make sure that the 43-inch TV has one as well. So now we have two branches going from plasma 
to accessories, meaning that anytime someone chooses one of those two parts, they'll go to the accessories tab and be prompted to choose items from there. We'll go ahead and add our config prompt. And we'll go ahead and add some items to this list. Now that we have all of our containers created and our items selected, we now have to determine how users will navigate through each of these steps using the default or navigation only branches. In this case, anytime someone goes through the TV step and navigates to the HGTV step, once they make a selection, we want them to go back to the receiver step using a default branch. So we'll create that branch by dragging from HGTVs to receivers and selecting the default branch. Similarly, if someone selects a plasma TV and it's not one of the two that we've created accessories container for, we would want them to also be navigated back to that receivers container. So we'll go ahead and create another default branch from plasma to receivers. And finally, if someone does go through and selects one of the TV part numbers that we've created accessories for, once they've selected those accessories, we still want them to go back to that receivers container. So we'll yet again provide another default branch going from accessories to receivers this time. And we'll hit OK. And that should do it. So just to recap the changes that we've made, we've used two navigation-only branches to make longer lists of HGTVs and plasma TVs available in addition to the more common TVs already listed in the TV container. This will let our sales rep quickly choose from the common list most of the time, but they can still browse the longer lists when they need to. We use two part number based branches to make optional accessories available for two types of plasma TVs, and this will automatically guide the sales reps to this list of accessories whenever they're quoting the larger TVs without requiring them to remember the step on their own. And then we use the default branches to connect all of the new containers back to the receiver's container, so no matter what choices the sales rep makes, they'll eventually be routed back to the receiver's option and move on from there. Now let's test our enhanced configuration to see how this would work for the sales rep. We'll hit start. And in step one, you'll see we have all the items that we did in our previous demo. However, now we have our branched HGTVs and our branched plasmas. I'm going to choose the branched plasmas and add that to the selected items. Here, I'm going to add my television's header. And I'm going to add one of our part numbers that are included in our part number based branching, which is the 50 inch plasma, and then add our subtotal. Now, based on that 50 inch plasma selection, the next step will bring us to that accessories container rather than immediately progressing us to the receiver's container. Here we'll add our accessories header, we'll add our accessories, and we'll add our accessories subtotal. Now we're brought to that receiver's container where we could add our receiver's header, our receiver, and our subtotal. And then we're brought to our speaker selection where we could add our speaker setter, our speaker, and our subtotal. And then we can go ahead and add this to our document. So you can see that we now have a comprehensive list of products here based on the selections that we've made in our configurator. We can now go and preview that in our deliver window so we can see what it would look like for the customer. We now have a nice comprehensive customized quote assembled in seconds just by running through the QuoteWorks configurator. Notice that each step from the configurator is now neatly arranged with its own section header and subtotal line. As you can see, the QuoteWorks configurator is a powerful and flexible tool that can streamline the quoting process for both simple and complex scenarios, eliminating the need to look up related products and accessories, and ensuring that every part of the bundle has been included. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about the QuoteWorks configurator and its advanced features and options. If you have any questions or would like to talk to the team, feel free to reach out at 407-248-1481.